I am a traveling doctor and I am heading to Japan as I have heard about an incredible treasure called the Dragon Fire. This treasure gives wisdom to those who have goodness in their hearts. However, they must return it to its home the next day. Hey, how are you feeling? Well, that was quite an escape we made there, wasn't it? Now, obviously the explosions in those tunnels were quite aggressive and there's a lot of flashing lights and a lot of unfamiliar smells. Sure, I smoked some sulfur at one point. Um, we both took a tumble, and uh, as a doctor, it's my duty to care for people, so I'd like to give you a cranial nerve exam just to make sure that you're alright and that your senses haven't been affected by what we went through earlier on. Okay. The uh, dragon fire is phenomenal, isn't it? I am experiencing the wisdom from it as we speak. And after I've given you the cranial nerve exam, I'll be passing it over to you. And then it shall be returned. We shall return it in the morning, after we've had a good night's sleep. Now, first things first, I'm going to be testing your sense of smell. This cranial nerve exam is going to include smell, hearing, eyesight, taste, and touch. Okay. And I'm sure you'll find, I just really want to make sure, 100%. Good. Okay, mm. we'll put these down. Now, gloves. Have you ever had a cranial nerve exam before? You yeah. have. And how did you find it? Interesting. Good. Good. Okay. Right. For your sense of smell test, I've got four different scents. Okay. And very simply, I'm going to spray them. And you're going to tell me or at least try and tell me what you think they are. Okay. So, do not be tricked by the colour of this. Okay. What do you think that smell is? It's nice, isn't it? That's right. Vanilla. Very good. Um, have you noticed any problems with your smell at all? Have you noticed any issues there? No? Good, good. Well, I think that's something that we probably were all right with. It's just, I'd like to cover all the bases, you know. I don't want to leave anything to chance. You ready? That's lovely, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice, that is. Very refreshing. What do you think that is? Lavender. Very good. Yes, it's lovely smell. Okay, now 
this one is a little bit tricky. So I'm not going to be too concerned if you don't get this one, okay? Really what do you think that is? That's right, plum. Very good. You know, I, uh, I don't expect people to get that one, so I'm impressed. Okay, we've got one more now. Let's have a listen. Uh, let's have a little smell of this. Ready? What do you think this is? It's nice, isn't it? Citrus. Very good. Okay. So, now that we've done that, I want us to test your eyesight, alright? Now, I'm just going to look into your left eye, okay? And I just want you to look up for me, okay? That's it, just look up. That's right. If you could look down for me now as well, that'd be good. That's good, that's great. Okay. If you could look diagonally out to the left. That's good. And if you could look diagonally down to your left. Good. That's lovely. Did you notice any discomfort when you're moving your eyes then? No? Good. Okay, I'm gonna look at your right eye now. Okay. If you could look up for me, that's lovely. That's wonderful. Okay. And if you could look down for me, that's lovely. If you could look diagonally up to the right. Lovely, and diagonally down to the right. Wonderful. Notice any discomfort when you're removing your eyes then at all. Okay, so look at my finger, and I want you to follow it as it moves backwards and forwards. Yeah, okay. That's lovely. And then coming back, just keep looking at my finger. Is there any strain in your eyes as the finger moves back and forwards? Brilliant. Okay. I want you to look directly at my nose. Okay, keep looking straight ahead at my nose. Okay. And I want you to tell me whether the outer finger or the inner finger is moving by using the peripheral vision. Okay. Just keep looking at my nose straight at my nose. Okay. Outer. Inner, good. Inner, good. Out, good. Same thing again, looking straight ahead. Inner, good. Inner, good. That's it, keep looking ahead. Out, good. Out, good. Okay. I want you to follow my finger as it moves. Good. 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 Now I want you to look straight at my nose. I want you to keep looking at my nose and tell me when you can't see my finger anymore. Good. So I'm going this side, keep looking straight ahead. Good. So your peripheral vision is very healthy there. And again, did you notice any strain around your eyes at any point during that time? Excellent. Well, I think your eyesight's good. That's fine. I mean, obviously that's not an eye test.
that your responses there are good and healthy. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do a taste test. And taste is very much connected to smell. Okay, it's the fact that your smell is working fine. It tells me that your taste is probably okay. But what I just want to do is just check how your tongue is working. All right. So I'm just going to pop this in your mouth and I want you to tell me what it is. All right. That's it. You can eat that, yeah. What is that? It's bread with a bit of strawberry jam. That's good. Okay. Okay. Let me try this one. Keep looking ahead. What do you think that is? That's right, that's bread with a bit of honey on it. Very good. Okay, we're going to do one more. Okay. What do you think that is? That's spread with a bit of marmalade on it. Good. And what that tells me is that, you know, that we can distinguish the marmalade from the jam, from the honey. They're all kind of similar but different. And that means that we have very specific. Uh, taste receptors working there, which is good. Okay, did you feel that your tongue was working as it should do? There was no numbness in there or areas that weren't really particularly responsive for sweet things. Good, good. Okay, now we're going to test your hearing. All right. So, I'm going to go for this ear first, and I'm just going to be coming back and forward. All right. How was that? Did that sound accurate as it was moving back and forwards? Did that sound like it should do? Good. Okay, we're going to do this here now. You're right here, okay? How did that sound? Did that sound accurate? Well, um, as I say, some of the explosions that took place in that tunnel as we were leaving, they could have caused you to have some kind of uh, you know, hearing issues, perhaps temporarily, um, just where the eardrum perhaps had been affected by the air pressure, because you had the sound itself of the explosions, and you had the air pressure created as well by the blast. Okay. Of course, sound is, is air pressure, and that's all it is. But obviously, when you have um, an explosion like that, there's an uh, incredibly powerful wave of pressure that comes out, a shock wave. And obviously, where that can bounce around those tunnels and be um, you know, directed in such a way, I wanted to make sure that your eardrums were protected and uh, been okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing both ears at the same time, back and forth again. How was that? Were you able to monitor the depth for both ears at the same time? And did they sound roughly the same? Brilliant, that's good. Be coming from left to right, from your left to right now, okay? And how was that? Did that sound right? And as it was passing each year, did it sound about the same in each year? Good. I think your hearing's fine there. So so far we've tested your sense of smell, okay, your eyesight, your t your hearing, and your taste, and all of those are looking fine to me. Okay. 
I just wanted, obviously we had a little bit of a tumble as we were coming out of the tunnels with the treasure and you know the individuals that were chasing us were very you know unpleasant individuals who it appears they would stop at nothing to get hold of it so you know they put us through a bit of a, an aggressive uh, tumble there with the explosions and such and uh, a couple of times we fell over now I think you would know if anything was seriously sprained or broken but I just want to check okay just want to check your upper body with your arms and your hands all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on your hand like this and I just want you to push back I want you to tell me if you can feel any discomfort. Okay, I'm going to do your left hand first, okay? That's good. That's good, okay. Do you feel any discomfort? I'm going to push against mine. Brilliant. Any discomfort there? Any pain around the wrist? No. Okay, let's just do this right hand. It's lovely, how's that feel? Now what I want you to do is I want you to push back and I'm going to pull this way, okay? And again, don't overstrain it, just decent pressure. I'm going to do your left hand first, okay? That's it. That's good. Did you let some pain around your forearm or the back of your hand or wrist at all? No, that's good. I'm going to do this one now, okay? You know, it's a discomfort there. No, the strength in your hand seems fine. Okay, we're going to do another one. And put your hands together like this. Okay. I'm going to put my hands behind yours. And I want you to gently try and prise those open. All right. Okay. Just do that there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Excellent. How do you feel? Any pain or discomfort around here, around the elbow? No? On this side? Wonderful. Just you put your arms kind of like this, but lower down. Okay. And I'm just trying to lift your arms up like this, okay? And I'm going to hold onto your elbows. Okay. I'm just going to put a bit of pressure on there. Okay. That's brilliant. That's it. Keep doing that. That's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. You feel any discomfort around your shoulders or on your elbows? Okay, that's good. So apart from a few bruises, alright, I think that that's you know understandable. I don't think there seems to be any issue there. Okay, with your touch response is alright, so that's great. You haven't got any pain in your fingers or anything like that. That's wonderful. So, I just want to debrief you a little bit. Now that we've finished the cranial nerve exam, I just want to debrief you a little bit about what it is that we have discovered, okay? Or rather, found. You know, this um, dragonfire treasure has been something that's been, you know, passed down for hundreds, thousands of years and it's very much uh, a blessing or a curse depending on how it's treated so if someone is to attempt to steal it from its location and not return it then that will be a curse okay and it will find its way back eventually and att attempts of that have been made but of course we're not like that. Um, the only way to receive the good wisdom from this, this wonderful wisdom, is for us to take it with goodness in our hearts and then we can experience that wisdom again. Okay. And so that's why it's very important that we did things the right way. Okay very important indeed. Um, so, once it's finished 
doing what it's doing with me. I'm going to pass it on to you, okay? And then, you know, you're going to have a good night's sleep. This wisdom is something that we can both then go out and use in the world to help to make the world a better place. I know that's something that's important to you. That's important to me as well. And I want to I want you to know that we'll be protected from the individuals who are trying to get this. Because it's something that the wisdom gives us. Okay, the fact that we did it the right way. But also remember, we'll be returning this dragon to the home, the fire dragon, tomorrow. And when we do that, the individuals who are trying to get it are just going to go around and try and follow the same steps that they did uh, yesterday. So, you know, um, more fool then, you know. Yeah, it's nothing... You know, we, we could try and convince them, but I really don't think they'd listen. And sadly, that's a you know, mistake that others have made in the past. Okay. But I would possibly refrain from mentioning this to anyone who you think isn't going to respect it in the way that it should be respected. Because otherwise they could end up getting themselves in a lot of trouble, just like those dangerous individuals did, you know, and still potentially will do. Now the thing is, it makes it much harder for you to get hold of this item if it can sense that you have evil in your heart, so they probably won't even be able to get hold of it. I'm so glad that I brought you with me. I'm so glad that I made the decision to bring you along. I knew that you'd do the right thing, and I knew that you had goodness in your heart. It's so important. It's so important to have goodness in our hearts. It's so important to go through this life with goodness in our hearts. And use the wisdom now for goodness. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing indeed. I want you to rest now. Okay. I want you to have a wonderful sleep. And I, well, after you've used the dragon, I want you to have a wonderful sleep. And uh, I'm sure you'll have wonderful dreams. I'm sure we both will. Alright. Well, pass the drag on to you. And I'll see you in the morning. Rest well, my friend.